If you need to store weapons for the zombie apocalypse, a body inventory system might be the right way to do it. To follow along in Unity, go to the description and download the free VR template and additional resources. Open up the VR template, add the additional resources, and we're ready to get shrimping. Coming into the project, you can see that I've already set up a new scene called Socket Inventory System, and yeah, that's our scene. And I've imported the resources for this tutorial, and you'll see that I have an extra folder here, and then two prefabs and a script. And I'm going to start off by going over what a body socket is. So the idea is we're going to have a body body socket inventory system, and then it's going to be made of these body socket prefabs that I've made. And if we come over here, we can go over what's inside. First, we have a box collider and a box mesh, and that's just so we can position it and see what we're working with in the scene. We also have on the box collider is set to is trigger, and that's because we are using an XR socket interactor. And if you remember the XR socket interactor, or if you're new to this, what this does is it takes a XR grabbable object and it allows us to store it on it, kind of like hanging a hat on a coat rack. And so if this isn't set to is trigger, the XR socket interactor won't work. Also attached to this is we have it set to, oh, I should say the interaction layer mask is set to interactable and interactable ignore ray and we've turned everything else off and we also have one last thing to go over with this which it has an attach point and if i open up the prefab you can see it's just an attach point that's it just an empty object that we can tweak and work with later but we'll cover that in a moment now let's come back to this what is this body socket inventory so what it is is it's going to be a collection of these body sockets as i said before and it's just going to set on our camera offset and it's going to track with our body and our movements so we have an inventory system well wherever we go so let's drag this onto our camera offset and see what we're working with here and if we expand it you can see that i already have a body socket that i've named right body socket and this is going to kind of be like a right holster you can see it has its attach point and i've kind of positioned it where i would like it to be and visualize it you can see with the character controller that I have here, it's kind of off to the side. Our camera would be facing forward, and that's what I'm aiming for. And let's see what else we need to do. And to figure out what we need to do, we should start up the scene, but we'll need something to store into that socket. So I'm going to go into this ultra low poly, and you'll see I have this ultra low poly gun. And it's, well, yeah, it's a ultra low poly gun. I'm going to throw this on the table and start up the scene and see how things are working with our inventory system. And I can pick up the gun and I can holster it, but the holster is not following me. Uh, I still have my ray interactors on, so I'll turn those off. And it's not holstering the right way. So let's fix all these things. Coming back to the editor, you're gonna see that I'm also getting an error here as well. And well, that should be pretty easy to fix. This is gonna be our body socket inventory script that we'll cover a little later, but to get rid of that error now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the main camera there. I'm going to get rid of this for now, clear that. And next, I did wanna turn off my ray interactors. So we'll just do that there. And with those minor things out of the way, let's readjust this and make sure we're centered again. With all those minor things out of the way, we're refocused. Let's handle how we're going to get things to attach correctly first. And we've been over this a few times. You see, I already have the attach point here. And if you remember, we have the Y axis needs to be where the object's gonna be pointing upwards. The X axis needs to be pointed towards where the palm of our hand would be. And then the Z axis, which is this blue one, needs to be facing the direction we want our object to face. So since we want the gun to face downwards, we need to get this Z axis to point downwards. And again, we have to make sure that this is going to be set to local positioning. And all we have to do is rotate this on the x-axis to 90 degrees. And you'll see that it's going to point down this way. The gun's top is going to be pointed up that way. And this is where the palm of our hand is. And so if we were going to holster this, you would think, you know, to reach down to the side, that is where the palm of your hand would be. And if we start up the scene, you'll see, yeah, it is holstering correctly. Cool, cool, cool. So now that the right body socket is working correctly, let's try adding a left body socket. So I'm going to drag this into, actually, you know what a better idea is? I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to control D this, so duplicate it. I'm going to name it left body socket. 
But again, if you wanted to do a totally separate body socket that didn't have to pertain to like holsters, like maybe a backpack, you could also use this prefab right down here and drag this on and position it how you'd like. But I'm not gonna do that right now. This already has the 90 degree angle that we need for the holster, but this needs to be on our left-hand side. So I'm gonna slap a negative right in front of this and that should put it in the right position. So now we have a left and right body socket. And again, if you wanted to make a backpack, you could just simply take it this body socket put it here and maybe adjust it to where your back would be and yeah that would work but for this tutorial i'm just going to keep it simple with these two guys so with our left body socket in this we can now start working on getting these holsters tracking and i found the best way to get things to track when it comes to this inventory system was following the head mounted display which is essentially the main camera so if we come over here to the body socket inventory script this is going to be where we track and make sure our inventory is in the right position and you'll see here for the head mounted display I already dragged the main camera in there and then we also have these list of body sockets and so what we need to do here is press this twice and we're just going to drag these in and I have something here called the height ratio. So since the height of the player changes throughout gameplay as they are standing up or sitting down or crouching or their height just varies from person to person, I found that the height ratio is kind of what we want to play with when we're determining how high or low this is based on where the head mounted display is. So that's all the height ratio is. And since this is kind of up by your hips, I'm gonna say it's a little above your hips and I'm gonna put it at a 0.55. And you can play with these ratios and see how they work for you. And let's dive into the script so we can really understand what we're doing here. And going over this script, starting off, we have a public class here that I've named body socket. And all this is gonna do is take a game object and give us a range. And that is gonna be what the height ratio is pertaining to our head mounted display and our body socket. And so if we come down here, you'll see I got the public game object for the head mounted display. Also the list of body sockets from before, which is used Using this public class again. Uh, I also have two private variables here. We got a vector three and a quaternion, which is going to handle the current rotation and position of the head mounted display. And all we do is come into the update function. We get the current position and rotation of the head mounted display. And then for each body socket that we've passed into that array, we update the height of the body socket. And you'll see here, I'm just changing the position to its current position for the X and Z axis. But here, this is where we we take the current head mounted display position and then multiply it by the body socket height ratio. And right after that, we come in and we update the socket inventory. So this is the entire socket inventory system, the whole body of it that's containing all of our body sockets. And so all this does is it will take the position of the X and the Z, but not the Y, because again, we're having the height be adjusted individually by the body sockets. And then we just make sure we also have the right rotation for this as well. And here we just want to make sure that we're rotating on the Y axis and nothing else because we don't want our inventory system to like tilt upwards or downwards. And with all this in mind, let's see what we have if we start up the scene now and look at that it is following me it rotates when i move just my head mounted display or when i use the thumbsticks i can holster my guns and yeah you can extend this out to add in a backpack or maybe some chest slots and i hope this helped you out i'll see you in the next one Bye bye